Okay guys, so we are back. I am going to talk to you guys a little bit about, um, oh, sorry. I was looking at his little leg, but um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about customs and private orders and how I sell my dolls and et cetera, et cetera. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you go ahead and do so at this time. And that is by smashing that red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to get your merch. And don't forget to join the Chatterbox. Um, there will be more information also on a giveaway that's coming. As my Chatterbox grow, the more my, give my giveaways will become bigger and bigger. I'm going to do a small giveaway. And then when I hit 100, I'm going to do a bigger giveaway and so on and so forth. So, guys. These are my chocolates. <laughs> so here are two of the babies that I've done. One is a personal baby um, that I did for myself, which is Katie Lou. And then this is Mr. Giggles. Um, he will have his own different name. His mommy will name him herself when he arrives home. And um, as you guys can see, they're both dark skinned babies, but they are different shades of darkness um actually have several i have actually i can't believe at the same time i have three chocolate babies in the nursery right now but anyway i don't have the other one over here right now but um this one over here is ephraim ephraim by melanie hess and this one is anthony by laura tuzeras so um, customs. A lot of people really, really, really likes to have customs. And customs is when you get to choose the kit, the skin tone, the color eyes, you know, what shade of skin tone. I mean, specifics, you want a birthmark, you want a scratch. You know, a lot of people don't really, what a real custom custom is, is really customizing, customizing. Um, some is semi-custom, some is just a private order. So let me explain. A private order, to me, these are my definitions of what I describe, I consider private order. Private order to me is, hey, I want you to paint a doll for me. I want the Ephraim by Melanie Hess. And then, you know, you're like, I want AA or biracial or, you know, whichever color you skin tone you you do is fine or whatever that's a private order that's your baby you put a deposit down um and that's your baby you are committing to getting whatever the artist puts out custom order is hey i want specifics i want a dark you know skin tone blah 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 this baby i did as a suggestion baby which was like hey i really want to see you paint the anthony sculpt um, basically I would love, you know, a baby that was dark as Kenya, which was a previous baby I made, but you know, I really want that sculpt, blah, 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 blah. So they got first option to buy, but as it went on, things progressed. There were a little few things here or there that was like specific to the mommy's taste. So it kind of turned into like a semi custom, like the way they wanted the hair painted, the way they wanted this or that. Anyway. Um, nevertheless, um, private orders is not picking out the details. Just remember that it's just that you're picking the kit and giving the artist free reign. That's what I feel is a private order. A custom is when you're customizing down to the very detail. A semi custom is being able to pick out certain specific things like kit, AA, biracial, or Caucasian. That's it, you know. Um, that's a, a, you know, that can be considered a semi-custom. Buy it now mean that you're buying a baby that's already ready to go. When you see that baby and when you get ready to pay your money, that baby has already been rooted. That baby has already been painted. Everything is done. All you have to do is pay for the, the, the baby and possibly shipping. And then your instant gratification, in my opinion. A lot of people like customs because they want to have say in it. They want to, you know make the baby like they vision they 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 envision the kit to look it's very hard for two minds to think alike 
and for the hands to move in the direction of the minds too. So I personally prefer buy it nows. A lot of people, like I said, do like customs, but I don't understand the logic behind it. I mean, I understand that it's it's more like a control thing, like, oh, I, this babe was made just for me. It's like, ooh, make me feel special type thing, in my opinion. Because customs is more room for error. When you have somebody do a custom baby for you, you have this vision in your mind. And you try to verbalize that vision the best you can to that artist. Now, what you're saying, oh, I want a chocolate baby. Okay, their chocolate might be this color. Your chocolate might be this color or darker. And then you get this baby that's this color and you're like, but I really wanted a chocolate baby. That's like caramel or, you know, you guys got all these flavors and colors and, you know, that you guys, uh-uh, um, that you guys come up with and then you're like disappointed, you know, um, or you pick green eyes, but the artists, if they would have been doing it themselves, they would have probably went with a more of a hazel brown, you know, color eye with the skin tone because they're actually seeing the doll in front of them, but you wanted the green eyes and now you, you see it all together and it looks so mis mix matched and it looked like hot, a hot mess and you're like oh, I don't want me. can you change the eyes over the now the artist already paid fifty dollars for the eyes they already sealed in now you want them to pop them out you know blah 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 not even just that or you like the hair you wanted the hair you know with the far receding hairline and all this and stuff now you decide oh I want baby edges blah 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 and then it goes back and forth. This I'm just telling you, this is how sometimes customs get derailed and a good experience turn into a bad for not only just the, the customer, but the artist as well. It is very hard to do um, the painting. It's very emotional. It's very, you know, um, tedious. And so I am against customs, <laughs> but sometimes you can't avoid them. Sometimes you want a specific kit and you want it painted by a specific artist so that's the only way you're gonna get it so I get that um I personally have done private more private orders than I've ever done customs like for instance let's take Puck Puck even though he's a silicone baby um I'm not gonna get into the long drawn out story how it came about that I end up getting Puck but <clears throat> I am going to say that it was a situation where it was kind of like, okay, you kind of know my taste because I bought several babies from you before. Whatever you do is fine. I don't want to see. I'll see him when you're done and when he gets home type thing. That's kind of how it went, but I did see him while he was in the mail. I saw a few pictures while he was in the mail. Um, so that was, you know, kind of like a... I saw, well, I think I saw a teaser or something like that, but yeah, it, he was not a baby that I said, I want this skin tone, I want this, I want this, is that, it was totally the whole artist, the artist's whole vision herself, um, I guess, and based off of what I, she assumed that I might like, so that, I found works out better for me, I always get good results whenever I let the artist, um, Whenever I let the artist do their own thing, let's see her little nails. But yeah, I, I always seem to get a better, a better result that way. And I actually, um, I actually hate waiting, <laughs> but I enjoy the surprise when you get the baby and they look different than what you thought it would look. And, you know, sometimes it can go both ways. It can be a pleasant surprise where you had a vision. The artist didn't quite do it exactly like you said, but it came out better than you expected and better than what you had envisioned. So that is, you know, the thing about the custom. So it's a lot. It's a lot. A lot of different things about purchasing these dolls. They're very emotional pur purchases. Um, really quick, I'm just going to touch a little bit on why people collect them and why I collect them. 
Um, people collect them for different reasons. Some people say that they help them get through a loss of a baby. Some people say, you know, that it's a calming um, mechanism for them. Helps with anxiety, the weight of the baby, laying them on their chest, just different things. Um, you know, the whole shopping experience, the dressing experience, the changing, the rocking, the holding, brushing the hair, all that great stuff. You know, decorating a crib, nursery allows you to get some of the, the the feeling of some of the things that mothers of real babies do and experience without the crying, the pooping, the getting up in the middle of the night type situation. Now some of our babies will drink and wet the silicone when you give them a bottle. But for me, I started out collecting these dolls because as a child I had one realistic, super realistic doll and I wanted, always said when I grew up I wanted to have realistic dolls like that and I long story short went to a lady house that had nothing but realistic dolls all around her house she had a full-blown nursery and um I said I want to I want to have a room like that when I grow up and so you know life brought me to a moment where God blessed me to be able to have that dream come true and I have always collected dolls I've always loved dolls and I love dressing babies. I love shopping for babies. I don't, don't be alarmed, necessarily like keeping babies and all that great jazz. So don't ever get it twisted and be like, oh, she gonna keep babies. She probably can have babies at her house all the time. I'm probably one of the very few people in my family, in the entire family, that you are very less likely to see a baby in my <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'm I love kids don't get me wrong I'll do anything for them but I'm just not the babysitter type um for the most part but that's what I do I love the baby feel I love holding them I treat my my dolls like real babies to a certain extent I'm very careful with them I'm very protective over them I don't let any and everybody hold my babies etc etc so that is the type of collector I am I'm very particular about their things and you know that that is the type of collector I am they do help me with calming and anxiety as well to a certain extent like any hobby would um if I am very anxious in a moment or have a very bad day or very upset as long as it's not too devastating to where I just shut down completely I can come and dress my babies or do something in the nursery paint clean the nursery you know, hold one of the babies, do a changing video, a feeding, you know, video and chat with you all and calm down. And when I get done, I feel so relieved. It's almost like I took an anxiety pill. Not saying that you should replace dolls with medication. If you feel like you need, you know, professional help, you definitely need to seek them. The dolls are not going to fix that for you. So that's not what I'm saying. I'm not giving anybody no type of professional advice. So, but I'm just telling you that's what they do for me. Um, some people that, you know, have like, you know, like I said, have lost kids have told me that it just really, really did a lot for them. And I've actually seen it happen where I'll, I'll get in. That's a whole nother story. But anyway, guys, that is what I feel about customs. Um, so if you're feeling upset because you can't find a person that does customs, why don't you try looking for the doll that you're looking for as a buy it now? You'll probably feel so much better. Oh, the other thing why people like customs, a big thing that I think people like customs for is because they get to pay on time. They get to put a deposit down and make payments later. You know the layaway because these dolls are so expensive usually buy it now people want the money right then and there usually that's my case um every now and then if it's a repeat customer or someone you know that i've done business with before i will do a short layaway but i tend not to do lay long layaways or layaways for reasons of the fact that some people change their mind they leave you stuck they want their money back it's all it's too much that's a whole nother video <laughs> Gosh, like we need to go. So let's talk about layaways in the next video. <laughs> no. Okay, maybe not. 
But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the chat, and I'll see you in the next, next, next video. And guys, don't forget to join the chat box because we will be going live once again for episode number two. And I hope to see more of you guys there. It's only $1.99. Click the link in the description bar to join. Um, you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Thanks again for watching. Till next time. Oh, get your merch.